I'm Nella Sammons, coming to you again with part two of my devotion. Special protection by the power of God. God's provision is our safekeeping. God is our healer. He provides Jesus Christ to, for us. As our mediator in 1 Timothy 2, 5, for there is one God, one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. As our advocate, 1 John 2, 1 and 2, my little children, these things write I unto you that ye sin not. And if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. And he is a propitiation for our sins, and not ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. As our merciful and faithful high priest in Hebrews 2, 17 and 18, whose blood cleanses us from all sins, 1 John 1 and 7. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. He provides other blessings designed to keep us safe, our public assemblies and mutual edification, Hebrews 10, 24 to 25, our daily mutual edification, Hebrews 3, 12, and 13. The scriptures, 2 Timothy 3, 16, and 17. In prayer, Philippians 4, 6, and 7. He therefore provides a way of escape. In some cases, to avoid temptation altogether. Matthew 6, 13 says, And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. And Matthew 26, 41, watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. God is our victory. Our confidence comes from God's power, not our own. Philippians 4, 13, he provides power that is greater than Satan. Ephesians 3, 16 and through 20. Yes, it is God who gives us the victory through Jesus Christ. 1 Corinthians 15:57. By his grace we are guarded by the power of God, but that such grace might not be received in vain. 2 Corinthians 6 and 1. We need to remember. Our responsibility remain faithful. The Christian's security. The Bible teaches the security of the believer. No one can snatch a believer out of the hand of God. John 10, 28 and 29. Nothing can separate a believer from the love of Christ. Romans 35, 39. You can always watch this again if you need these scriptures and write them down. But note carefully, these promises are for one who is a believer. The Bible also teaches a believer may become an unbeliever. Hebrews 3:12. A believer can develop an evil heart of an unbeliever. In so doing, such a person departs from the living God. When a believer becomes an unbeliever, the promises of security for the believer are no longer applicable. This explains the many warnings in the scriptures to maintain faithful. Revelation 2.10 So the Christian's responsibility Take to heart the many admonitions in Scripture. To take heed, 1 Corinthians 10, 12. Gird up the loins of your mind, 1 Peter 1, 13. Discipline yourself, 1 Corinthians 9, 27. Root yourself in Christ and his love, Ephesians 3, 17. Col Colossians 2 and 7. Put on the armor of God that you might stand, Ephesians 6, 10 through 18. Be strong in the grace of the Lord. 2 Timothy 2.1 Stand fast in the faith. 1 Corinthians 6.13 Resist the devil. James 4.7 1 Peter 5.8-9 Take advantage of activities conducive to main, remaining faithful. Daily prayer. Daily Bible study. Daily Bible reading. Frequent association with fellow Christians. Attendance to uh, be at church. In the assembly. Development of uh, personal usefulness to the Lord. Involvement in the work of the Lord. Acceptance of correction and repentance as necessary. So in doing all of this, you are guarded. 
kept by the power of God. God bless your day. We have a church here at Tornado. If you don't go, you're always welcome. Doors are open with open arms. In Jesus' name, I pray for you and your loved ones. Amen.